what's going on everybody this is carlos thank you again for joining me here on the whiskey corner i really appreciate it guys thank you for all the support that you guys have given me shout out to whiskey nose um whiskey tornado texas bourbon garage all of you guys have been amazing live wire whiskey um there's a few other ones, but I really appreciate everybody that has subscribed, that has been watching the videos, that has commented. Thank you, and you know, let's keep this rolling. Um, definitely wanna get my content to more eyes, and you know, especially if you guys enjoy it, I love to keep making these. So today, I wanna go over some whiskeys that you might want to drink right now for a Memorial Day weekend. It is coming up um, this weekend and I wanted to make this because yesterday, quite honestly, and today I'll probably do it again, I was barbecuing outside, we were getting in the pool and I like to enjoy my whiskey as I'm outside right it is hot i live in south florida and you know it's not every type of whiskey that i enjoy with the uh with the blazing sun with the humidity um with the heat from the grill or even getting in and out of the pool so there are a few bourbons or whiskeys that i go to more than others right and with again with memorial day coming up a lot of people are going to be doing outdoor activities, going to the lakes, going to the beach, being in their pool, attending barbecues, or even having a barbecue themselves. So that's where I want to go over five whiskeys that you could drink or that I recommend that you drink while you're doing all of this, right? Now, there are some parameters, right? So one of the parameters is, um, I don't have any rye here. So I will say right off the bat, I'm not really a rye guy, right? I do enjoy certain ryes. I have the Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. I really like that. Sazerac Rye, I do like it as well. And I actually like the High West Double Rye, right? But, you know, I don't have many ryes and, and there's actually some ryes that I have here that I don't like. Um, and some that I haven't opened yet. So I'm not gonna do that to the rye, but quite honestly, I don't really reach for rye when I'm out by the pool. So not really including them there. Another type of whiskey that I'm not including is those rare allocated, really, really hard to find whiskeys. For example, I think Stag Jr. is a great whiskey to drink outside. But, you know, that's not a normal whiskey that you would find everywhere, at least not here in South Florida. Blanton's, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, um, maybe even sometimes Booker's, although that is an honorable mention. Henry McKenna 10, um, the Wellers. The Wellers are great. I love drinking my Weller Special Reserve and obviously the <laughs> Antique 107, but I baby those bottles, right? because I don't really want to run out of them, all right? So there are a few honorable mentions, Eagle Rare, right? That I would love to add to this list, but you know, quite honestly, it's not fair to add them on here because as much grilling going into the pool that I do, yeah, I'm kind of gloating a little bit, sorry. <laughs> as much grilling or going to the pool, being outside that I do, I want to be able to be readily um, able to go and buy some more of these whiskeys whenever I need them. So I will say that two specifically might be a little more difficult than the others, but they're not impossible to find, right? So let's get into it. Number one, numero uno, is I have to say it right from the start. Wild Turkey 101. I mean, $22 here in Florida. Great whiskey, great to sip, great to have in cocktails. I don't have cocktails too much, but you know, old fashions, the dirty lemonade or whatever other cocktails there are. You can definitely make this because it's strong enough with the 101 proof, but it's also a great sipper. 
It tastes great outside. I don't mind emptying it out and going to buy another bottle for 20 bucks. So Wild Turkey 101 is my very first choice. All right, number two, and this is in no specific order, guys. I am not rating these from best to worst or whatever. This is just a list of some that I really enjoy and that I really go to, right? So number two, I have it right here, is 1792 Full Proof. So I have a bottle of small batch 1792 that I demolished, I killed. I love 1792, but I have seen myself going more, this is my second bottle, Full Proof, going more to Full Proof when I'm outside. I used to drink a lot of the small batch ones, so that's not a bad one either to have while you're outside by the pool, while you're grilling, anything like that, but I actually enjoy the Full Proof a little bit more. It is 125 proof, but it doesn't drink its proof. It's really great. Um, it's refreshing and I really like it. So definitely recommend that. Although in some places it is a little more difficult to find or you'll be paying a lot more. I know three places here that have it. Most of them have it for 60. One place has it for 85, 90. So yeah, needless to say, I don't buy it at that place. So numero tres. That's six, but three and three, right? <laughs> so numero tres, number three, is gonna be another one that could be a little difficult, right? Because it is a special limited edition. So once they're done with it, they are done with it. So do not miss the boat on this one. If you already did, there are some other ones that I will recommend pretty quickly, but Definitely, if you see it, go out and get it because it's Chattanooga Whiskey Tawny Port Cask. It is a great whiskey. If you like that port um, wine tasting whiskey, I see myself, I drink this when I'm out by the pool and I just wanna relax. If I have the, uh, <laughs> the breeze from the palm trees in my face, I'm chilling in the pool or I might be even grilling. But when I'm relaxing, I usually have a sip of this because I really, love the taste it's kind of like you definitely taste that wine influence and it's like sipping some wine it's really good with like red meat or anything like that that you grill after it comes off of the uh, barbecue but it is really great so definitely do not pass this up if you see it in your local stores it is amazing and if you did pass it up you can't find it anymore we have Woodenville, they have a port cask finish. Um, I've tasted that, don't have a bottle, but I've tasted it, it's really good. And then I believe one of the Bowman ones, I don't know if it's Isaac Bowman or John J. Bowman, one of the Bowman whiskeys is a port finish as well. So that's pretty good. Jason C at the Mash and Drum actually did a comparison between these two and it came down to those two. Well, he did it between three and the Bowman one came out in second place. He liked this one, the better one, but he did say that the Bowman one is pretty good as well. So definitely recommend that. Now, number four, numero cuatro. Talking about Woodenville, it is Woodenville. Now this is not the podcast. This is the regular one. And I just discovered this previously to me finding it recently. I have not been able to find this at any place, and this has quickly become one of my favorites. You guys know I love Texas whiskey, and this gives me the same Texas whiskey notes, along with some other notes as well that I really do enjoy. Uh, kind of crushed grapes, fresh fruit, um, but it also gives me that Texas tobacco, leather, I love it. This is a great, great whiskey. And I see myself having this a lot more lately since I bought it a few days ago. So this is amazing. If you guys have not had this, definitely go and get it. This is 90 proof. So, you know, it's a little on the lighter end of the proof and it makes for a great sipper. By the way, the Chattanooga whiskey that I just talked about before this is 95 proof. Just so you know, wanna go over the proofs on everything. Um, last, but definitely not least, we have 
a whiskey or bourbon that doesn't like to consider itself a bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey, which you probably already know what I'm talking about, but Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. This is a store pick from Primo Liquors here in South Florida. Shout out to Primo Liquors because they are great over there. But this is an amazing, amazing whiskey. You guys definitely need to try it if you haven't yet, which I don't know why you haven't tried it, but this is great. Definitely pick this up. I see myself always going to this, um, either from the start or every time I'm grilling or in the pool. At the end, this is what I finish off with. And I really love this whiskey. So if you have not tried it, if you've been under a rock and have not heard anybody else talk about it, it is amazing. So this one in particular is 131.3 proof and it is good so obviously being a single barrel they have different proofs but it's all all the ones that i've seen are definitely over 125 proof usually in the 130s right um so if you have not picked one up definitely go to it so short recap in reverse we have jack daniel single barrel barrel proof great it is about 65 bucks definitely pick this up we have the Woodenville, uh, the regular 90 proof straight bourbon, it's about 40 bucks, 35 to 40 bucks, something like that. So definitely get this. We have Chattanooga Whiskey, the uh, Tawny Port Cask. I think it's about 40 to 45, something like that. Um, but this is great. We have the Full Proof 1792. So this one ranges, it could be anywhere from $40 to I guess $90. Um, so I guess it, it depends on your area, but this is a great, great whiskey. And then obviously the cheapest one and more readily available one that you can find is Wild Turkey 101, 22 bucks. You cannot beat that. So that is my selection comment below let me know what you guys think what are some of the uh favorite whiskeys that you guys have to enjoy on a nice day when you want to just want to relax be outside grill some meat and you know get in the pool go to the beach or whatever you like doing comment below do you like any of these would you put this on your list are there some other ones that you would rather have on your list so comment below please like Please comment, please subscribe, and you know what? Click that bell icon because it will help out the channel and you'll be doing me a favor. Till next time, guys, enjoy that whiskey.